All babies born in this country are delivered by cesarean section. And while that surgery can lead to well-known complications, one that is rarely mentioned is a fetal laceration. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us what that is and also how to prevent it. Dr. Max? Well, that's right, Christine. Fetal laceration is just what it sounds like. Your baby is cut by a scalpel in the process of being delivered. And while most are minor injuries, anything that harms your newborn is disturbing. An inexpensive new device promises to dramatically reduce those injuries. A yellow school bus goes beep. Meet little Sarah McGahan, a cute four-year-old who had a tough start in this world. She still bears a faint scar from her cesarean delivery. This is what she looked like on her first day of life. Well, the surgeon came over to me right after the procedure and told me that, unfortunately, it nicked the baby's face a little bit. What happened to Sarah is known as a fetal laceration. It happens when the obstetrician cuts the wall of the womb to deliver a baby during a cesarean section. Our traditional means of reaching the baby with a scalpel um, can sometimes go a little too deep and you can get a baby with a laceration. The majority result in a small nick like Sarah's, but an internet search reveals just how devastating some of those injuries can be. The three percent that are deeper can be very severe, can amputate fingers, can lead to facial lacerations that leave a scar. And that concerned Julie as she prepared for her new baby's arrival. So I do have a lot of anxiety about having a third C-section. Um, because of that reason. But now this device called C-Safe could eliminate the risk of a fetal laceration. This animation shows the initial uterine incision is done with a blunt piece of plastic. More importantly, the scalpel blade always faces away from the baby. All the while, the baby never comes in contact with the blade. And now that C-sections are approaching 33% national rate. Julie, who's a nurse, agreed to let Dr. McHugh use the C-safe. And little Rebecca McGann was delivered absolutely unscathed. C-sections are now the most common surgeries in the country. And studies have shown that fetal lacerations occur anywhere in, in one to as many as 5% of cesarean deliveries. While most of those are minor, a $28 instrument could make it sure that it almost never happens. Maurice? You bet, Dr. Max. Thank you. Well